Okay, hi. So we're coming to our mats or coming to the floor. Um, let's begin our practice. So the first thing we're going to do is come into our hands and knees. First, in tabletop position, we're going to go ahead and breathe, inhaling up, exhale, tucking your tail. Just begin to follow the rhythm of your own breath, inhaling up, exhaling, tucking your tail. want to bring a little more energy into this, feel free to go ahead and bring one leg out. And we'll go ahead and do a uh, knee to nose. And if you want to even bring more energy into it, you can take the opposite arm and also bring it in. Exhaling as you tuck, inhaling as you extend. But remember, this is always the option, first option. Just follow the rhythm of your own breath. We'll go ahead and switch sides. If you have decided to do one of the other options, there you go. Or even this option. Okay. Extending out, releasing, knees nice and wide, hips back over heels, coming into a child's pose. You can rest on your forearms, nice and relaxed. Let's go ahead and gently come back on up to all fours. And we're going to go ahead and curl the toes under. If you're able to do um, yoga on a mat, or um, it's ideal to do it without the socks on, but I do have sticky socks um, that do grip, so um, that's also another possibility. It's cold where I'm at, or at least I'm a little cold. So pedaling those heels, nice long deep breathing, and see if you can really reach and press through your mat so that you can get nice extension down to the tailbone. I've got to bend the elbows just a little because I do hyperextend, so just be mindful if you need that too. Nice long deep breathing. And remember, long deep breathing is so good just to invite that sense of calm, a sense of peace, and just that deep sense of connection. It helps us get really present to what's happening in our bodies right now. And then we're going to go ahead and gently release, bring those knees back down. Let's come back into child's pose, knees nice and wide, hips back, and forearms here. Or you can even extend the forearms out. Just find your most relaxed version of child's pose. We're going to go ahead and gently come back on up to all fours. Once again, let's go back into another downward dog. Hips on up, pedal those heels. We're going to go ahead and gently come to the knees. sit back on your knees, like so. Okay, so I'm going to face you. Alright, so sitting on your knees, just nice long deep breathing. You're going to sit up really tall. You want to really help open your posture, draw those shoulder blades in and back. You want those elbows right next to you, drop them down to the side. Maybe bring those hands to the side just for a moment. And nice long inhale and a sigh if you can. Sighing is so nice to just help release tension and it really does relax the body. Maybe take a moment, bring the ears over each shoulder. Okay, you don't want to move too fast. Sometimes it's nice to move fast, 
but sometimes it's also good just to move really slow and see if you can feel more details. And I'm gonna invite you to bring your hand up to one shoulder and just give it a squeeze. This is really important, especially right now. Nice, long, deep breathing. And sighing. And then we're going to go ahead, other, um, other side, other ear over, other shoulder. Nice, long, deep breathing. And see if you can really feel that, that stretch that goes down the neck and even just tend to it. Maybe even take your fingers, roll them a bit, and just give them a little tap and a little rub. into like a longer body stretch. If it feels better for you to cross your legs, that's another option. We're gonna bring your hand down to one side, other arm goes up and over, and see if you can bend your elbows to help soften things at your shoulders. Nice long deep breathing, see if you can feel the stretch come all the way down to your hip. <sighs> Gently bring the legs out in front now. You're gonna flex your feet. Okay, bring them in. Coming into Dandasana or Staff Pose, arms down to your side, maybe do a little shimmy and shake, feel into your back. If you can straighten the legs, go for it. If it feels a little too tight in your hamstrings, go ahead and let your knees bend, and that'll help keep your spine long. So keeping the spine long. We're going to go ahead and bring that heart forward and come into a forward fold. Forward folds are a nice way to keep the heart rate a little softer, a little more down. Inviting that sense of calm, forward fold. Heart forward, and if you feel like you want to bend the neck and head forward, that's okay. But we'll start and take a moment, bring those hands back and just again lift up, bring that heart up. Heart open, shoulders back, and let's go ahead, bring that back. Let's go ahead and bend one knee, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn in towards your knee. So twist in towards the knee that's bent. Nice, long, deep breathing. Hugging that side. And then let's go ahead, gently release. We'll go ahead and extend that leg, bring the other leg in, and. The foot is about where the knee is. I don't want it to go all the way in. You could, but it's nice to just bring the foot out a little further so that you create a little more space here for the belly. And then just give yourself a nice hug. It's a good little twist. And sigh. Sigh if you can. We'll go ahead and gently release and bring the leg out one more time. Take a moment to shake those out. Let's bring the hands back. Let's point our toes and we're gonna inhale, lift the hips. Big breaths and then exhale, bring it back down. Okay, flex your feet, shimmy and shake. Okay, we're gonna take your one foot, we're gonna cross it over one knee, okay? Make sure it feels safe in your body. Flexing that foot. We're just gonna rock a little forward and come on down. Nice, long, deep breathing. And if it's okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a moment, bring the hands back. Okay, and only if it feels safe, just check it out. We're gonna bend that other knee. And you're gonna see if you can do some cat-cow movements in your spine. So you inhale and you exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Just do this a few times. Good. And we'll go ahead and extend that leg. Release. And let's go ahead and bend the other foot over the other knee. 
and we'll go ahead and just sit up nice and tall. Exhale, come forward. Nice, long, deep breathing. And sighing if you need it. Go ahead and take a moment, bring the hands back. Go ahead and bend that bottom leg and take a moment, do a few cat cows here, inhaling and exhaling. Tuning in, making sure again, things feel safe, things feel good and right. And we'll go ahead and gently release that bottom leg, uncross, take a moment, shimmy and shake. And let's go ahead, come on forward. You're gonna lay down onto your back. And just take a moment, we're gonna go ahead and bring those knees up and in. A little side to side. Take a moment, relaxing down. Bring your arms out to your sides. And let's go ahead and bring the knees over to one side. You can pick left or right. Let those knees drape over to one side. And just find a moment to relax as much as you can. Nice, long, deep breathing. And go ahead and gently Close your eyes if you haven't done so already and see if you can get more expansion in your belly on the inhale. And we're going to go ahead and start to come out of this. Bring the knees back up to center. Take a moment, pause. Just feel the difference between the left and the right side and now take it over to the other side. Make sure you have enough space. Arms out, nice long deep breathing. Any micro movements that feel good and right for your body, feel free to do so with your breathing. Just staying present to what is. Sigh if you need to. And go ahead and gently bring the knees back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. And we'll go ahead and gently roll on over to come back on up to a seated position. Bring the palms together at the heart center. And we'll complete this practice for today. If you can spend more time with long, deep breathing, relaxing whenever you get a moment, please do. It will bring calm and ease. I wish you well. Namaste. Thank you.